Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Demetrius here again. Today I wanted to give you a progress update on my 150 days of the lion diet that I've been on since the 19th of February this year, 2024, and talk about my journey so far and give you a little bit of an update as to what are the new things in terms of benefits that I've had and just some interesting things that have come through. So. It's been 150 days since I started this, and really the only reason I began this, and if you look at all my previous videos, you'll know why I did this. I tried to basically recover as fast as possible from a first degree burn on my hand, and I took on board this particular lion diet on the 19th of February, because on the 16th of February, I had an accident and I had a first degree burn in my hand. The doctors gave me a prognosis of eight to 10 months, and I may not get feelings back in my hand. And that was what I was told at the time. But, you know, literally 150 days later, well, I have full control of my hand, everything's fine. I have no feelings, and it's just a little bit of skin that has to sort of finalize and recover. And I feel incredible. And that's 150 days later. In fact, last month, was the last time I went back to doctors and they looked at the hand and they said, well, we've got nothing else we can do for you. It's gonna finalize the final healing towards the end and we are utterly and completely impressed with the results. And I was like, great, fantastic. Bear in mind that throughout the, th the first three months, I was redressing this hand every second day at the doctors. So it was a pretty intense deal and I've got all the photographs for each one of those days, but they're a little bit too gory to show on YouTube. I'll probably have at some point in time make a video on Rumble and I'll probably put that update on Rumble because it's easier to do that there. So anyway, fast forward to today and 150 days later, everything's great. And then last month when I went to the doctors to do that finalized uh, sort of meeting with them, one of them asked me, so how did you manage to do it? I, I was a bit hesitant to tell them. So I said to them, well, I've been following the lion diet. They had nothing to say. They are, they, they, their expressions went blank, literally. They went like, mm. and they turned around and they walked away. And I had three doctors in the office and they turned around and walked, walk, walked away. And I knew straight away, I knew, wow, they know the truth because they couldn't say anything to me. In fact, one of the nurses, God bless her heart, she comes to me, she says to me, well done. I know how you feel. My husband's been doing this for the last three months. He feels fantastic. He looks amazing. I have my hubby back. I was like, thank God I'm not the only one here. So that was cool to see. That was really funny. So 150 days later, everybody, how do I feel? And what benefits have I had? Well, if you've gone back and you looked at my videos, you'll see all the benefits that I've achieved. And I've also got a website where I've put all the information on there and I'll be updating it even further this week coming to give you even more updates of all the additional benefits I've had since my last video, which was the 90, uh, 90 days and 100 days. And now I purposely waited for an extra 50 days because I wanted to see the bigger results. Of course, my weight loss has stayed roughly on par uh, and slowed down, obviously, because I'm reaching the stage where I'm getting optimal condition. But I'm not concerned about that. It's just so many other benefits. So yeah, let's fast forward 150 days. <laughs> Some of the comments that I've had from people. Oh, you're going to die. Oh, you're a right wing supremacist spreading cult nonsense. That's the kind of stuff I'm getting as feedback, even in my email. Oh, you are talking nonsense and lies. And oh, the classic thing from people who have these wonderful ideologies Oh, you are a right supremacist that is not just spreading lies, but you're spreading misinformation and disinformation and all that nonsense. And you will die and you will kill people. <laughs> oh, people. Listen, to those of you who are nihilistic thinkers, narcissists, and just in general, negative, selfish, and just pretty much unhappy people. No matter what you say to me, it won't change my path in life. 
I'm in control of my life. You're not. Nobody else is in control of my life. I am, finally. I can honestly say that. You cannot in any way tell me or do anything to me that's going to chop, change and chop and change my path in life. You have zero control over what you say or do, which in any way could influence me, because it doesn't. The real problem that you have is that you've got, you've got no control over your own life. You see, think about it. If you had control over your life, you wouldn't care about being the way you are. You wouldn't be unhappy. You wouldn't be nihilistic. You wouldn't be narcissistic. You wouldn't try and drop people down and make them feel worse so that you can have them at your level so that you can feel better. I'm 50 years old. What the F is your problem? Are you not a human being? Don't you know that you're not in control over your life if you're acting that way? It's so silly. It doesn't in any way influence the way I think. And here's the funny thing about this. I'm one in millions of people doing this. And amongst those millions of people, we're all having benefits. This is an epidemic that's going to destroy itself and destroy people. Sugar, the conglomerates out there who are putting intensely bad chemicals and fertilizers have destroyed the land. They've destroyed cultivation. Don't listen to me. Look at the papers online. Since the 1945 and the 1960s, pharmaceutical companies, sugar organizations, have paid companies, hospitals, doctors to bribe them to lie. These documents, white papers, studies, medical journals, all these things have all been debunked already. Don't listen to me. Go out there and do your own research. Don't be a sheep in the world. Don't listen to how governments are trying to control life and how corporations are trying to control your spending. Do your own research. Question things. Be suspect of things. If you don't have that human condition, which is called curiosity, how are you going to know the difference between good and bad? If you just accept things in face value, how will you know if you could achieve benefits if you just accept them and don't try them? There are no wrong choices in life that are called mistakes. We make choices. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't work out. You may give it the name mistakes, but it's not really a mistake. It's just a choice you're making in life. Well, here's the funny thing. These organizations and governments have taken away the choice that we should have had. To be healthier, to live happier. And they have guided us down the bad path. I am 150 days in this lion diet and I feel fantastic. I feel amazing. I'm 50 years old. I sleep five hours a day. I don't get tired anymore. I don't have problems with blood pressure, cholesterol, boils and, and sores, all sorts of crazy pains. I don't have any of that anymore. My eyesight's improving. My voice is improving. My skin's tightening up. My hair, even though I lost my hair when I was 20, is slowly growing back, which is weird. It's not going to grow back perfectly, of course not. But the point is, I haven't lost it completely all the way like I was when I was younger. And at the end of the day, there's so many more other benefits, which I'll take you into those, and you'll get to see them now on the website that I've built. It's kind of crazy that it's so counterintuitive the way we've been living. We've been lied to. We have been lied to. It's a, it's, it's, it's a bit of a shame, really, because now at the age of 50, I realize the truth. You know, I've always been strong-headed as a person. Always been strong-headed. I've always had a strong mind. But I've never, ever let myself be positive and achieve what I needed to achieve and be balanced 
So when I was younger, I lost my ability to stay healthy. And I've, I went down the wrong path. And then recently, the reason I took on this is not just because of the burn that I wanted to actually figure out how to get to heal quicker, but it was also so that I could stop getting fatter because at the end of the day, I was getting unhealthy. I was having so many different problems and I was realizing, oh, I'm going down the wrong path here. You know, for my height, 174, I am five foot eight. But the problem was I reached 100 and close to 150 kilos. That is insanity. At the age of 18, I was 85 kilos. I reached 145, close to 150 kilos this year. And I was in devastation because of also the first degree burn and everything else with it around it. Fast forward to 150 days. I've lost near, near 50 kilograms. I'm about 45, 47 kilos. I'm sort of teetering around 103, 105, 100. Depends on the days, depends on how I work out, because I'm working out these days. It depends on what I'm eating and all that, and it just bounces up and down. Also depends on the amount of water I have. So I know I'm feeling at the right level, I'm feeling optimal. And at some point in time, which is what I've challenged myself to do, is by the time I turn 51, which will be in October this year, I want to achieve as close as I can as possible to what I was when I was 18. I may not physically look the same as what I was when I was 18, but I want to achieve not just the weight loss to that level, but I want to achieve everything as close as I can mentally and physically that I was. And I will at some point, I've got a few more months. And at the end of the day, that's great. It's fantastic. You know, the fast forward to 250 days has given me the reflection that I needed. I feel amazing. I feel fantastic. And I wish if people try this, I hope, I hope that you achieve even just 1% of all the wonderful benefits that I've achieved. If you can achieve 1% and be more, uh, more improved by 1% in your life. What a wonderful feeling. Can you imagine if you could do that every single day? Improve by 1% every day. Which is what I've been feeling like. 150 days into this, I've been feeling like I've improved every single day by 1%. I've improved by 150% already. And I haven't even got through the first year of, the, of doing this. I will never touch sugar again. I will never take carbohydrates again. I don't like the feeling anymore. I don't like feeling like that, tired, lethargic, upset, angry, full of problems, full of pains and aches, chronic, chronic problems. I, it's all gone. I feel amazing. I feel fantastic. And I hope the same for you, which is one of the reasons why I built this website. Now, I've already mentioned this website in one of my previous videos, but for those of you who haven't watched those videos and you just don't feel like watching them and you're watching this one, let me take you into this so you can see what I mean very, very quickly. This is the website I built to help anybody out there who wants to do this and, you know, learn from things like we've gone through, me and millions of other people that are doing this and see if it works for you and figure out what works best for you and also don't fall into the traps that potentially we've fallen into and figured out a little bit too late. So I've broken this down, giving you a nice little breakdown between the physical well-being, getting healthier physically with a food intake. That's my brand goodcarnivore.com, which is what this website is, sitting on goodcarnivore.com. Okay. And my other part of the brand, which is don't say it, do it, which is don't say it, do it.co.uk, which is specifically mind over matter. So how do you control your mind? your psychological aspects of life, because you now need to balance these two together. When you balance these two together, you're going to achieve something truly awesome. Okay, let's pop myself onto the air so you don't look at a screen only and you can't see me talking. In terms of my journey, I break down my journey and I will be updating this to add the next sort of 50 days after the last time I did this video, which is the 6th of July. And I will talk about my other sort of benefits I've achieved. So of course, once you know the truth, you'll know and it'll set you free. These are the videos that I've done so far of my progress throughout the whole process. If you're interested, take a look at them. Even this video over here that introduces this website you're currently looking at as well into a little bit more depth. But I've broken down everything. Great videos of interest, people that you should follow. Try and find out what they've done. Not just listen to me 
People are on here are doctors, Dr. Berry, Dr. Baker, Dr. Chafee. These people are doctors, they're medical, you know, MDs in, this, in, in the world. They know what they're talking about. And so many other people that have sort of given me the guidelines, especially the person that I take my hat off to the most, and that's Kerry from Homestead. Because it was if it wasn't for him, and if I hadn't come across his videos, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't have had these benefits because he began the, the, the journey for me. And then eventually I got to meet so many other people, which is fantastic. I haven't met all the doctors yet, and I will be at some point. Uh, practical tips in terms of understanding what you should be going through when you're going through this journey. All sorts of stuff that I learned along the way. Things like the different beef cuts. you got to understand where your meat's coming from, all the different cuts. I mean, I personally like these two here. Ribeye steaks and tomahawks. I love them. They're fantastic. And I break down each one of them, tell you what they're all about, what kind of fat intake is going to be there, how do you cook it, all of them, every single one of them. Same goes for lamb, because I do love my lamb. I'm half Greek, I love my lamb. It is a ruminant animal. It's got more than one stomach, which means what they eat is cleaned out. So you'll be fine. You'll have good food in your body and good fat intake. Good fat, not bad carbohydrates, polyunsaturated, chemically enhanced fats. Seriously. Good fats. And then practical tips. Different things that I went through. All sorts of stuff. The links, I'm going to be adding a whole lot of documentation yeah, that I discover online, which debunks and proves how bad these studies have been and how, how they've bribed doctors and nurses and dietitians to lie in the medical studies, to pinpoint that sugar is good and carbohydrates are good and vegetables are good. In the meantime, well, fat's bad. Well, it's all not just misinformation, which means it's missing the truth, but it's also disinformation, which means it's completely false, unfounded, and definitely without proof. So at the end of the day, wow. What a bunch of liars. Since the 1945s and 1960s, we've been lied to by these companies. Ridiculous. Makes me angry. A nice comprehensive guide into health. You know, you've got to have some kind of process. Understanding the diet behind carnivore and understanding the diet behind uh, the lion diet, which is a little bit more restrictive, which is what I love doing. So the basics behind it, the mental aspects behind it, the family dynamics behind it, community involvement behind it, and of course your spiritual well-being behind it. For both the carnivore diet and the lion diet, which again, the lion diet is the best possible solution to have the best possible results. But it's not that easy to do. But hey, life's not easy. Get on with it. Deal with it. Okay? In other words, don't say it. Do it. Right? You want to get healthier. That's what you got to do. I frequently ask questions, which I break down all sorts of stuff, and I'll be adding a lot more into this because, of course, we've had these wonderful <laughs> nihilistic and narcissistic comments online, which I'm going to highlight, and I'm actually going to pinpoint those channels. I'm going to make a video on them just to show people, well, if people are going to have uh, a channel that's going to have one or two subscribers and nobody's really following them, and they're going to go up against a channel that, okay, I'm not a wonderfully big channel, but I have 4,800 subscribers. Maybe, maybe some of the things that I'm talking about are possibly a good thing. What do you think? I'm being sarcastic, obviously. So here's some of the major improvements that I've had in the last 150 days, just 20 of them. And I have another 10, which I haven't added on here since the 100 days and the 150 days, because I purposely took a little bit longer between the last video and now, because I wanted to see what else would happen in a much longer term and so many different benefits. And of course, I've also added a section which is for coaching, because I've always been doing live coaching. In fact, one of my careers is also to teach in terms of the information security and, and sort of penetration testing forensics world, but I've also done life coaching for people in terms of their lives psychologically, but I've never been able to balance that really well with the physical aspect. Well, now I can, because now I no longer talk the talk, I'm now walking the walk. So at the end of the day, I've put these live sessions in place, private one-to-one -one sessions, and I've set up for the carnivore side, which is the meat eating side and lion diet side, 30 minute interval and one hour sessions. So 30 minute sessions and one hour sessions. For those of you interested in doing a one-to-one -one session with me and for the don't say it, do it 
uh, side of the world, which is all about the mental health, how you can improve your mental state and how, what you can do to improve that part of your life so that when these two work together, the carnival side of you and the mental side of you, then you become a balanced human being. And balance creates superhuman capabilities. Without balance, you lose your way in life. Okay? And look, the only reason why I've put a charge on some of these is only because I want to pay for the Zoom subscription I gotta pay every month. That's all. It's not for anything else. Otherwise, I'm quite happy with my career and all the other money I make with all the other companies. So at the end of the day, this thing's not really meant for money. It's just to help people if I can, because if I can help one person achieve 1% results and improve, ha, huh, job's done. Okay. Contact information, you can get in touch with me anytime you want and privacy in terms and policy. So this is the, the website that I put together. If you're interested, get online on goodcarnivore.com and don't say it, do it.co.uk anytime you want. And I'll be adding a lot more information on there. So enough about the website, enough plugging or shameless plugging about my website. Let's come back to this video. 150 days later, and I feel amazing. I feel fantastic. I want to thank everyone who has guided me in my journey. I also want to thank the people who've been negative <laughs> because a negative, narcissistic, nihilistic, you know, I'm 50 years old. I don't give a damn what you say because I'm in control of my life, but I do give a damn about why you're saying it and how you're saying it because I worry for you. You see, when you have that kind of approach in life and you're that kind of negative person, nihilistic, narcissistic, and you want people to fail, you want people to lose, you don't point out the good things. What you're projecting, because you, you're self-projecting, right? What you're projecting to the world is your own insecurities and your own unhappiness. And the reason why you're unhappy is very simple. You're not balanced, both physically and mentally. You're not balanced. If you were balanced, you wouldn't care about those things. You would care about the most important things in life, and that is yourself and your family and your friends and your community and colleagues and your government and country and, of course, your humanity on this planet. Which is, by the way, your true identity in life. Not this idealistic ideology, politically motivated world that we live in today, where people are so angry and so upset and so despondent and so separated and siloed, because that's what governments and corporations want you to be. That's what they've achieved. They've broken you. And they want to do that so they can control you easier, so that you can make no decisions in your life and they can make them for you. But what it's created is this negative approach to yourself because your identity is not, you know, I'm not being disrespectful to anybody out there. You can choose to be identifying yourself with anything you like. But the truth of the matter is this. If you go down to the root of who you are, your true identity is human being. And what is a human being? It's someone who is physically and mentally in balance to go through the hardships of this world and this life. By improving themselves, their families, their friends, their communities and their countries and the planet. That is the true identity of life. No matter what you want to identify yourself, his, her, they, them, whatever. I've, I've heard of people identifying themselves as toasters or as road signs. I mean, look, you can do what you want, right? But the, the, don't deny yourself of your truth, of your rightful place as a human being. You're not an animal. You're not a, uh, an insect in life, even though they are not in any way insignificant in the world. They are very much very important in the world, but we are human beings and we are in command of this planet. We are the dominant force. 
why try to limit yourself and silo yourself into those ideologies when in fact what you're doing is you're closing off yourself from all this incredible potential to be the best and the ultimate human being you can be. You have a finite amount of time to live in this world. If we're lucky, we'll get to 80, 90, close to 100 if we can. Wouldn't you want to actually enjoy your twilight years? Don't you want to enjoy possibly maybe even living longer than 100? Wouldn't that be cool? And then still feeling and looking good? And being physically and mentally healthy? How cool would that be? You just have more time to experience life. Because currently right now, all this silo thinking, this narrow-minded thinking, which really is very negative, not towards other people, but to yourself mostly, is putting you in the position where you can never experience these things. You can never improve yourself if you don't. And you're going to cut your, yourself down. You're going to shorten yourself, shorten your life, because you're not achieving the best that you can achieve. This is not a revelation in any way. This is common sense. Your identity in the world is human. We make choices in life. Choices that go well for us, choices that go bad for us. There's no such thing as mistakes in life. Sometimes they go right, sometimes they go wrong, those choices. When they go wrong, you get up, you dust yourself off. You figure out where you can avoid this in the future, so you don't repeat that same choice again. That's what we do. This is called the human condition. But also, the other part of the human condition is that you should be curious. You should question things. Don't just take things at face value. Don't just listen to me and nobody. Go out there, do your own research. Figure out the truth behind everything before you become the person who pushes things down, is nihilistic, is narcissistic. Because you have forgotten who you are. You're a human being. You live you experience, hopefully, God willing, you don't have any disabilities. You're able to experience everything in life, good and bad. You bleed because you're human. As in like, you know, you can get hurt and cut yourself or get hurt in battle or whatever. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> this is a very cool book. I remember watching one, uh, reading one day called we all poop, you know, something like that. Of course, we all go to the toilet. We all let go of all the toxins. There's no difference there. And by the way, we all share a common fate. We all are going one day, unfortunately, to die. So, based on that fact, why waste time? Time is your only currency in life. If you ask any rich person who is either close at their deathbed or completely unhealthy or has got so much money but hasn't got any health or is completely alone and they say and you ask them what would you do to get healthy again to add an extra 20 years to your life and they will all tell you without a doubt 100% unless they are narcissistic nihilistic idiots which I know rich people are not and most people in the world, if not all, are not stupid. They're just unfortunately misguided. Every single person, whether you're rich or not, you will always choose health over money. So what are you doing? This goes the same for all the corporate organizations out there who are lying to the public. You know, you're looking at short term profits here, you idiots. Think about it. Can you imagine if everyone was happier, everyone was healthier? Imagine this. If those companies would spend money in creating the best possible foods for humans, check this out. They will sell more food, so they'll make more money. People will be healthier, so they'll do more things and do more outdoor stuff, and they'll spend more money, so they'll make more money. As in the world will make more money. They will travel more and be happier. So what companies will do, they'll make more money. 
there'll be less people sick, less people in problems. And when people have to go to doctors, doctors will be able to treat people the correct way without forgetting the Hippocratic Oath. And they'll still be making money. There's far more value to happiness than misery in the long term. The short term, yes, you have figured out the pain and the weakness of human beings. There's far more money in the misery of humans. But you know how narrow minded that is? Do you know how stupid business decisions that is? It's it's nihilistic and narcissistic thinking because it doesn't serve anything. It gives you money in your pocket, which, by the way, you can never take with you, you idiots. You're going to die one day. You're not going to get out alive. So what are you doing? If we concentrated in getting as healthy as possible as a human race, because that's our true identity, we would be a space race today. We would be on more than one planet. We wouldn't be concentrating on the frivolous, idiotic, stupid, idealistic, political nonsense that we see today. Because every human being will be on an equal footing, without prejudice, without malice, without ideology, without narcissistic thinking, without racism. None of that is necessary. We're all human beings. That is the true identity of life. And if you want to achieve clarity in your life, both physically and mentally, you've got to take charge of your life. Hence why doing something like a carnivore diet will help you improve in so many different things. Yes, weight loss and all these wonderful things. But the most important improvement that I've had in my 150 days has been the, the, the lifting of the fog and the clarity that I have. The ability for me to achieve things that I never thought was possible in that very short time span that I've always had. Things that I never thought were possible or possible because of the clarity that I have, the understanding of who I am and where I am in this world. And no amount of negativity and narcissism can now in any way influence my path because I have finally found balance in life. I've always had mental balance. Physical balance, I've let myself down, but no more. 150 days is all it took to reverse the 50 years of absolute wrong treading in life. And now I can enjoy my next 50 years and achieve things not just because I want to achieve them, but absolutely enjoy the things in my life now. Truly have fun with them. Get life out instead of just existing. If you have this ideology where you try to identify something that you're not, and you forget who you really are, which is a human being, you won't achieve your ultimate state of being the ultimate superhuman you can be. Anyway. So. 150 days later and I feel fantastic. And I want to thank everybody who's got me to this road. And has allowed me to achieve this. And even body, everybody who's been negative. Because all you're proving to me is that I'm on the right path. I'll probably be tried and, and, and tested. And I'll have companies trying to close me down. And even, you know, YouTube may even try to close me. But you're never going to shut me up. Because I'm not talking anything bad. I'm not saying anything bad. Companies need to function. Businesses need to make money. But you are misguided in where the money really is. The truth of the matter is that everyone can flourish. By doing the right thing. It's a simple concept. And achieving this balance is key. Thank you, everybody, for listening and watching. All my subscribers, I can't believe I have 4,800 subscribers. Little old me. Thank you for everything. And those of you who are new subscribers, cool. 
And for those of you who are first looking at my videos, thank you. You can always just click on a little subscribe. All it does, it just shows new people my videos and then tells you, by the way, Demetrius brought out a new video. That's all it does. I don't get any other kickbacks. And at the end of the day, if I can help my channel grow, I can just do better content and I can create all sorts of content because I don't just make content like this. I'm not a superhuman in my and from my opinion. I can do information security, digital forensics, penetration testing, normal consulting work. I teach people. I've doing it since 1989. I am a photographer, digital photographer, video photographer, film photographer. I'm also a media creator. I write books. I author books, kids' stories, novels. I am finally balanced as a human being at the age of 50. Almost 50 kilograms lighter. And at the end of the day, forget the weight loss. Superhuman clarity thinking. Got rid of all my problems, apart from one which I still have. Which means just to get as physically good as I was when I was 18. And looking better. That's all. Other than that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my time on this world. However long I have. However is decided up there and for those of you who are not on this path you don't know what you're missing thank you everyone for listening once again it's demetrius here again and today for goodcarnivore.com and don't say it do it .co.uk i wish you well signing out